Hello, Warren family. The deans have put together this video to introduce ourselves and to give you some helpful information to make this school year successful. My name is Ms. Colgan, and I'm here to talk to you about the support services that you have here at Warren. Each of you has a student services team made up of a social worker, a guidance counselor, and a dean. The social workers are here to help you with your mental health. So if you're feeling anxious or depressed, if you're having issues at home or with a friend, please make an appointment with them so they can help you process through and give you some advice. Your guidance counselors are here for any and everything academic. If you need help picking classes that meet your interests, if you need to talk about tech campus or figure out what exactly you need to graduate, make an appointment with them and they can talk you through it. And your deans are here for a variety of reasons. Our main goal is to help you make good choices both inside the classroom and in life. So if you're having a conflict with another student, if you're having issues in a classroom, please seek us out so that we can help you problem solve and mediate to make the best choice possible. Your student services team is looking forward to meeting you and we hope you have a great year. Hello, my name is Ms. Fulton and I'm one of the deans here at the Alma campus. My objective today is to discuss the behavior matrix. In this matrix, we discuss the Warren Way in detail. They are posted around the building, in your classrooms, and on our website. What does it mean to be respectful, resilient, engaged in classrooms, in our school, in our common areas, such as the cafeteria, bathrooms, hallways, and uh, on and off campus activities? when you're representing Warren, the matrix will show you and let you know what it means to be these three things. Let's look deeper into respectful. Respectful is, is accepting others for who they are and being supportive of everyone in the WTHS community. That means we are kind and courteous. We follow directions and safety rules. We value our school property. How about resiliency? Being able to withstand, recover, or persevere from events or things that challenge us. That means you work hard and give your best effort on every assignment or anything that project that you do, anything that is attached to your name. You resist negative peer pressure and you think before acting. You celebrate your success and you learn from your failures. And the last one, engage. Being active in our learning by taking responsibility of our effort, attitudes, and actions. That means you're on time to class and you're prepared. Furthermore, that means you walk with the purpose. You stay on your path. If it's not passing period, we will request for you to get a pass from the class that you're scheduled in from your teacher or staff member. If you do not have that pass, you will be sent back to your class or walk back to your class to get that pass. Follow staff directions and school rules. Report suspicious behavior through our see something, say something. Keep our school safe. You're part of this. We are a closed campus. That means we stay in the building during the school day. There are no outside deliveries allowed. Please refrain from ordering because it will be confiscated. So that means no Uber Eats, no, no delivery of pizza. Don't do that. It will be confiscated. At Warren Township High School, we believe that we can make a difference in our lives in our community, and in our world by being respectful, resilient, and engaged, now and always. See you in the hallway. Hey, uh, Mr. Pagan here. I'm here to talk about two very important concepts that you need to go, that you need to know entering this year. The first one is attendance, and the second one is safety and security. Attendance is the most important thing for you to be successful. If you need to be here. If you're not here, it's hard to, to stay on point and be focused on your goals. If you're here, your teachers and your support staff can, can help you get through what you need to and be successful to meet your goals. Um, this all begins with your morning routine. 
Uh, at Almond here, we started a little earlier, and it's important that you have some structure and routine into your day to get off to a good start. Second thing is we cannot skip class. You have to be present. If you have unexcused absences, you get zeros for your coursework that day, and that begins to set you behind in your academics. We need you in class doing the right thing and moving forward and getting good grades. Along with that is our eight-day absence policy. The eight-day absence policy is if you accumulate eight days absence in a semester. Now, that includes unexcused absences, excused personal, excused illness, excused vacation. All of those go into the eight-day count. So please be aware of that when you're calling in. You get eight days per semester. Once you hit that threshold, all right, there's some academic consequences that comes with that. If you miss a day, you no longer get credit for that work that you're not present after eight. If you miss a major assessment day, you get in, you have to make it up at a later date, you get a 10% reduction in your grade for that. So it's very, very important that we're conscious of the days we're missing and that we're here when we need to be. Um, also tardies, we need you in class on time. Being late is a sign of disrespect. Your teachers are working very, very hard to plan meaningful lessons and get you the content you need to know. And when you walk in class late, that's being disrespectful not only to your teacher, but to the classmates around you as you're distracting their learning. The second important piece is safety and security. The safety and security of our building is a collective effort. We need to look out for each other. We need to take care of our Warren family. Um, this means that we only enter and exit through the main entrance. All right, we're not exiting through side doors. We're not coming in through side doors. Do not ever, ever open an exterior door for anyone. Even if you think you know them, you do not open the door. Uh, also, always check doors behind you. If you're leaving the building or leaving a classroom and you're the last one, make sure we're always closing doors behind us. We don't want to prop open doors or leave any exterior doors open. Lastly is if you see something, say something. If you have information of about someone that is in danger to themselves or to others, it's very, very vital that you share that information with a trusted adult. If not a trusted adult, we do have um, <clears throat> resources on our website and other opportunities for you to report that information, whether it be anonymously or not. Uh, so if you go to the students tab, there's a tip line and the tip line includes text to tip, safe to help, and a crisis lifeline for you to report information to help yourself or help others. So please remember, our top priorities are to be respectful, resilient, and engaged, and that includes being present, being on time, and doing everything we can to keep one another safe. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.